Interrupting me, and I'll tell you. A helicopter? Yeah, Caboose, shut up. Hey, Tucker, you're interrupting now, too. Everybody just get out of here. Me? I'm just trying to punch up a storyline. Check this out. Hi, everybody. I'm super horny from all the robot killing. Hey, is it hot in here? Who wants to help me out of this heavy armor? This breastplate is so itchy. Bow, chick, bow, whoa. Story's over. You're a pig. I didn't even get to the part where the sailors show up. Just tell us, what did you see? Um, it was a really big thing. That's your story? You saw a big thing? Ah, uh, my story had a big thing in it, too. You just didn't give it time to develop. Well, I didn't really get a clear look at it. At Tucker's big thing. No, dumbass. At the big thing in the base that attacked me. All I know is that it was slimy, and it had lots of teeth. Kinky. Seriously, dude. Cut the shit. We've got a situation on our hands. Well, how did you fight it off? Fight it off? You must have me confused with someone who's brave. I got the hell out of there. You're telling me you left your body behind? I had to get out of there fast. That body was just dead weight. I know the feeling. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Some slimy tooth monster scared the crap out of church. <laughs> he didn't scare the crap out of him. He scared the soul out of him. Oh, it's church. What's the difference? His soul is made out of crap. Stupid crap for soul. For all I know, he's in there chewing on my body right now. Well... Then let's go get this big thing of yours. Bow chicka bow wow. Oh, shut up. Shut up, Tucker. Somebody call for a really hairy plumber. Bow chicka bow wow. Tucker, shut up. I came here to lay some pipe. Bow chicka bow wow. Tucker. So I hear you got sisters. Bow chicka. Who are twins. Wow wow. Shut up. Hey, are you a model or famous actress? Bow chicka bow wow. Shut up. Bow chicka shut up. Bow wow chicka shut up. Bow chicka 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 up. Thank you, sir. No! Good. You're going out of turn. I thought I went after Simmons. No, we go in line. It goes you, then me, then Simmons, then back down to me, then you, then me, then me, then Simmons, then me, then me, then Simmons, me, me, Simmons, you, Simmons, me, 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 Simmons, you, me, then me again. It makes perfect sense. But doesn't that mean you go twice as much? Or ten times as much? Ow! This is the best game since Griffball. I'm not coming down. Hey, Griff! Move back and forth like one of those ducks at the carnival. No, don't duck. That makes you harder to hit. Act like a duck. Wait a minute. That was my turn. This is the lightning round. Who's in the lightning round? Me. Oh, 
Alright, fuck this. I'm coming down! Ow! I said I'm coming down! Yeah! Thunder Beater! Take that, you stupid duck! We haven't seen that alien thing come out, so it's probably still hiding in there. Or... Eating church! Alright then. Let's roll. Okay. Here we go. Uh, we're not moving. Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. We're still not moving. Does Talke count as moving? All right, screw it. You guys get behind me and stay tight. Bowser, come out well. Never mind. Tucker's in front. Eh, it was worth it. All right, men. Stay out of sight. We have to be prepared for anything. Uh... Why are we hiding from our own base? Because we have no idea what's inside. Anything could have occupied the base after we jumped into the future. Oh my god. What if we're in there? Yeah, n no. Wait, aren't we out here? I mean past versions of ourselves. We could go in there and meet ourselves. Oh man, we'd be best friends. We'd have so much in common. Finally, someone who shares the pain! Donut, that's not how time travel works. We don't leave copies of ourselves behind. And even if we did, they'd all be 800 years old. They'd all be dead by now. Speak for yourself. I could live to be 800. I'm on this awesome diet. You're still doing that high-fat, low-fiber liquid diet where you drink nothing but bacon grease? Nah, that was just a fad. What's a new one? I only eat foods that begin with vowels. That sounds really hard. What did you have for breakfast? Eggs and Oreos. And for lunch, I'm having asparagus. And Oreos. Holy crap, I've been on that diet for years. I had no idea I was so healthy. I even cut out all the eggs. And I don't even know what asparagus is. All right, men, stop your chatterboxing. We've got to keep our eyes open for any sign of enemy activity. I can't have you not paying attention. You have to be alert. Constant vigilance. Composed. Attentive. See, that's much better. Hey, why didn't you bring that glowing thing? No way! I'd rather have a gun! But I've got a gun! What are you gonna do? Shoot it with ghost bullets? Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Hey, I'm Casper, the friendly bullet! Hey, see anything? Nope! You know, Andy was here when I got attacked. Maybe he knows something. Hey! Andy! Andy! Hey, hey, hey look who's back! The dickhead! Hey, up yours! You back for another beating? It must be ass kick a clock! Where's that big alien thing? I don't know. Last time I saw him, he was halfway up your ass. Is this mom giving you a hard time? I see you brought a girl with you. What, are you gonna have a crying contest? Hey, look, there's my body right there. Dag. Who? Huh? There it is! Jesus, run! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die with the cookies that thing! Run! Women and children laugh! Run, 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 run! <laughs> what, you leaving already? That's fucking hilarious. Ah, run, 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 run! Hey, wait, wait! Yeah, Caboose, we won! This is our victory lap! <laughs> hey, come back in! I think you're tiring them out! <laughs> you're killing me! <laughs> I'm telling you, it was here! It drove by while you were talking! You had your back turned, and it went zoom right behind you! Well, it really sounded like... <laughs> Blarg, 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 hog. <laughs> that wasn't in your head, Caboose. He just said that. You're just so dumb, you're lagged a few seconds behind us. By the time your brain figures out what it's heard, it feels like it's already happened. That's not true. Wait! <laughs> I hear something else in my head! It must be apples trying to communicate with me! Quick, Tucker, get a ladder! <laughs> All right, nerdbags. After the third round of the competition, it's still anyone's contest. Yeah, burn, wrench. Anyone includes me. Ha-ha. <laughs> Donut was leading after the obstacle course and talent contest. Awesome. Hoodie hoo But then the mysterious skull pulled ahead during the question and answer session. That doesn't seem physically possible. So the standings are the skull, Donut, and in third, the wrench, which is the current crowd favorite. Ha <laughs> maybe the skull will be your new sidekick. Hey, Sarge, how can I kiss your ass if I don't have any lips? And in last place, Griff. What? I thought I was ineligible. Ineligible to win, dead man. Luckily, there's no chance of that happening since the last round is the evening wear competition. Ho-ho, <laughs> you're in trouble now, Skull. Then can I quit? Of course not. 
Only eligible contestants can withdraw from the competition. I guess you'll just have to settle for fifth place, turd belly. Fifth place? Should I even ask who's in fourth? I'm reserving fourth place for any late entries who would obviously be better than you, such as a turd or a turd farmer. Hey, Gary, is there any way that you can translate what this big alien is saying to us? No. Aw, oh, come on, man. Isn't this one of the aliens that built you? Yes, but I do not know much about those creatures. I was only programmed with knowledge of the ship known. I mean you. Yeah, listen, man. That word is really starting to bug me a little bit. You did not even know what it meant until I told you. I know, but you just say it so much. I only say Shisno in context, like when talking to a Shisno or about a Shisno. I think I see what you mean, Shisno. So you'll stop. Interspecies prejudices take a long time to overcome, but I will try. Thanks. Luckily, I am not lazy like Shisno. Yeah, it's pretty clear you mean to give this your best effort. I think the important thing is that I am trying. Okay. Church is trying to get a translator so that we can talk to each other. Tucker. The enormous alien doesn't speak our language. Speaking slowly is not gonna help. What? I'm talking to Caboose. Oh. I don't understand. Are, are, are you hungry? Tucker, are you hungry? Are you cold? What? No. Do you need a blanket? Tucker, do you want some hot dogs in a blanket? Damn it, no, Caboose, I'm not cold. I don't want a hot dog, and if you put mustard in my fucking sheets again, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, gargantuan alien. Now that we have decided to keep you, you need a real name. I vote for Fluffy. Fluffy? Fluffy! The alien that only loves! He's got to have a name. Why don't we just ask him? Hey, alien dude, what's your name? Name! I am Tucker. This is Church. That's Bitch Pants McCrabby. Hey! Well, that's what we call you. Not me. I call you Mrs. McCrabby. Thanks. What? is your name. <coughs> your name. <coughs> name. Just keep repeating it, Church. I'm sure he'll come up with the right definition on his own. He is Tucker. Tucker. You are... <coughs> no, no. No, not Hong Kong. Name. <coughs> okay, I give up. All this guy says is Hong Kong. Well, have you ever considered the fact that his name is Hong Kong? <coughs> Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? Yeah, I mean, seriously, what kind of name is Hong Kong? Blarg. Hey, big alien, is your name Hong Kong? Blarg. Hey, wait a second, I think Blarg means yes. Alien, does Blarg mean yes? Blarg. Holy shit! Blarg means yes! He just said yes! Blarg means yes! I speak alien! Yeah, unless Blarg means no, in which case, he just said no. Blarg does not mean yes. What? No way. Hey, alien, am I right? Blarg. Haha, <laughs> see? What the fuck do you know? After the final tabulations, we've declared a winner! Griff, the envelope, please! Envelope? We don't have any envelopes, this is the army! No, that's a winner! Oh, yes! Well, my life's officially over. Time to go kill myself! Wait for me! Look, no offense, imaginary tank, but I don't believe in you. You're just a product of my imagination. Actually, I'm a product of the military contractor that made the lowest bid. I'm a little ashamed of that. Well, leave me alone. I can't have some imaginary tank ruining my excellent reputation. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go dig a hole to live in. <sighs> I wish Griff was here. I could convince him there was food underground. Then he would dig half a hole for me. Or maybe a third of a hole. Then he'd use the shovel to eat oatmeal. On second thought, I don't wish Griff was here. You can live with me. Just ignore it. It's not real. I have my own base. In fact, I've made lots of renovations since you all left. Hey, that's the old blue base. Yes. I was sent to guard it from something. I can't really remember what. Some of my memory banks have failed over the years. Do you remember what the blues were fighting? Uh, I think it was pirates. Are you sure? I think it was another army. I think they were a different color. No, it was definitely pirates. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, pirates. And I think there were some ninjas that were working with them. No... I don't think so. And I think they had traveled from another planet. Incorrect. I think it was called Cowboy Land. Negative. And they were here to rustle up some cattle. No. But the blues were going to stop them. No. No, wait. Monkeys. Monkey pirates. Nope. From Uranus. My logical data analysis sector indicates that would be highly unlikely. And my bullshit meter agrees. Church! Church! Hey, Church! I'm right behind you, dumbass. Oh. Hey, Church, do you have a knife? No. 
That's a weapon, dude. Ask Tex. Shit she has something to take care of. Girl stuff, I think. Huh? Like what? <laughs> I don't know. I stopped asking questions at girl stuff. What are you two guys doing? We're gonna teach an alien how to speak English. How are you gonna do that? People learn English all the time. It aren't that hard. Maybe you should try learning his language. Fuck that. We got here first, and that makes this a colony. Those are the rules, dude. Earth colony, Earth language. Tucker, there's thousands of languages spoken on Earth. Yeah, but only one that kicks ass, and that's the one we're teaching. English 101. Remedial kick-ass. Alright, there is no way this is gonna work. Yeah, it is. We got visual aids and everything. Where the hell did you get those? We made them. Turns out Caboose's gun didn't have any bullets. It was loaded with crayons. I just need to cut one of these things. You have a pocket knife? Hey, if you need to cut something, why don't you just use that big sword of yours? Oh, right. Duh. What? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, man, Ducker, that thing either really hates that sword or really hates you. Get the fucking thing off me! <laughs> Wait a second, Ducker. This might be a good chance for no, us to evaluate no, how no, these things fight. No, now hold no. still. For science. Not the face! Not the face! Sarge, can you hear me? Sarge, come in! Sarge! Sarge, do you read me? This is Simmons! Come in! Hello, Red Army HQ. We don't stop until every blue is dead. Donut, let me talk to Sarge. For help in English, press or say one. One. Para Espanol, marque numero dos. One. One. What? God damn it. For unconfirmed Dutch Irish, press one two, as in also. Donut! Oh, hey, Simmons. What's up? Donut, put Sarge on. Oh, yeah. Sarge is really busy. Things have really picked up since you left, uh... No, Donut, I'm not here! L l let me see. Do you mind if I put you on hold? Just take a message! Donut, stop screening my calls! Sorry, Simmons. Sarge isn't available at the moment. I'll tell you what, I can ask him to call you back, but... It's really better if you have an appointment. Oh, for the love of God, I can hear him, Donut! Would you just tell him that I've captured the blue base and... And I'm taking possession of their tank? Right, right. Simmons... Tell him we've got call waiting! Blue... No, no! Base You're going through a tunnel! Tank! Tank! Are you really writing this down? Look, I have to go. We have a conference call with Griff in five minutes. He's pitching ideas for how to use your rations. Gotta run. If anything comes up, we'll call you. And Simmons? What? This job is the best! I can't believe you quit! That's it. I'm gonna kill them all. Hey, Sheila! Lock and load! We got somewhere to go! No, no, no. Alright, Bob. We need to talk. <laughs> talk about what, Butch? Working on cars and picking up chicks? Excuse me. <laughs> is that any way to talk to a lady? <laughs> a lady? Who are you kidding? I bet you got more balls than a Roman candle. Ugh. I knew this was a bad idea. Hey, Tex. Why you got black armor? You couldn't find any in flannel? Listen, jackass. Flannel. I put you together... <laughs> I can take you apart. Hey, what do you mean? Bombs come with remote detonators, dumbass. And any time I want, I can just hit a button and you're just a memory. A very annoying, very insulting memory, but nonetheless, a memory. I think you're bluffing. Dyke. Okay, strike two. All right. What do you want? Well, when I built you, I used parts from an old protocol robot. Yeah, sure. And you also use parts from some of your more personal devices. Well, okay. Can you use those protocol parts and translate what this alien thing is saying? Of course. But what's in it for me? Let's put it this way. You don't push my buttons, and I don't push yours. All right, fine. But I'm not translating any of that touchy-feely crap. Deal. Come on. Well, are you coming? What am I going to do, roll there? Pick me up, you dumb bitch! Great. I can tell this is starting off well. Hey, Tex, I bet you haven't had your hands on a ball this big since your morning scratch! <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, come on! Tex, baby, where you going? It's just a joke between the two of us guys, come on! Laugh it off, big guy, laugh it off! <laughs> hey, Tex! When you walk away, I can see where you tucked it! <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. There is no way I'm going to let this happen. I told you, he can do it. Yeah, I'm qualified. Listen, I don't doubt that he can do it. I doubt that I want him to do it. Why? Well, you know what, Andy? 
You're not exactly the most diplomatic of individuals. That's bullshit. You're only saying that because you're a racist. Racist? Bombs are not a race. Eh, shut up, you dirty shizno. We finally make contact with an alien being. And our first attempt at communication is going to be through a bomb? Am I the only person who has a problem with this? Well, unless you got your English to blog blog dictionary, I don't think you got a choice, now do you? I had one of those, but I threw it out. It didn't have many pictures. I'm sure this will be fine. You know, I feel like I'm going to regret this, but I feel even more that I just don't care. And that watching this whole thing unravel might be kind of interesting. Go for it. All right. Where's the alien? Oh, shit. I forgot. Ow, ow, ow. Griff! Oh, Griff! Griff! Ugh, oh, great. There you are. Where have you been? Right here. I've been looking all over for you. I looked in the base, I looked around the base, I looked on top of the base, I looked in the base again. I think you need to learn what all over means. Anyway, Sarge wants you to come back to the base and... No, I'm not going to do it. No? But I didn't tell you what he wants. Donut, it's Sarge. I know he doesn't want me to come into the base to help him eat ice cream. He wants me to do stuff. Work stuff. But... Listen, Donut, I know you're riding high on your new promotion right now, but don't think you can order me around. Me and Simmons, we had a system. He didn't try to tell me what to do, and I didn't ignore him. Wait, you ignored him all the time. I'm sorry, what? I wasn't listening to you. See? The system works. Learn the system, Donut. Look at those jerks. They don't know how good they have it. All right, Sheila, remember the plan. We don't want to hurt them. I just want to make them totally jealous for kicking me out. How does my armor look? Am I all blue? Yes. Okay, let's start Operation Blue with Envy. You know, because normally it's green, but I'm, I'm blue. But it doesn't make any sense to say, y you know. Attack! Hey, Sheila, you know what's great? Being on blue team. It's so awesome. Way more awesome than being on that old red team. Anyone can be on the red team. We have to share a base. On blue team, I get my own... Is bit. that Simmons? Hey, Simmons, why are you painted blue? Have you finally lost it? This isn't working. They don't care. Sheila, just shoot at them. Firing main... I did my best, Sarge, but Chris said he wouldn't come help. Son of a Ben and Jerry! Who's gonna help me eat all this ice cream we found? Ah! Target we're under lost. attack! Donut, you formulate a retaliation strategy. I'll secure the rim race. Oh, man. I'm gonna die. What's he say now, Andy? Look, guys, if you want me to translate for you, you can't keep asking me every four seconds, What's he saying now, Andy? What's he saying now? I'm gonna tell you what he's saying. That's my freaking job. That's what he said. That's a weird thing to say. Uh, tell him I said, Okay. I will not ask any more of, uh, that, and also, no. I think I need a translator just for Caboose. <laughs> okay, basically, he's, uh, he says he's pissed off. Oh, really? He's, hey, no kidding. Tex, are we paying for this service? Just give him a chance. <laughs> he says he came to claim some type of thing, and that the teal one took the thing, <laughs> and now the thing is gone. Who's the teal one? You are, idiot. No way, I'm Aqua. Teal's out. That thing that he's talking about must be that sword, and it's not broken, it's right there. He says it only works for the hero who passes the trial of the windmill and retrieves it from his resting place. For everyone else, it might as well be broken. Uh-oh. Trial? Please, I fell in a hole. That's not a trial. I'm starting to like this culture, though. Any dude who trips is a hero. I'm pretty sure that makes Caboose God. This all sounds like bullshit to me. No, he's right. It didn't work for me, remember? Of course it didn't work for you. You're a girl. I mean, you can't even work the entertainment center back at the base. Doesn't mean the remote control is mythically attached to us. All right, then, you little smartass. You pick it up and try it. <laughs> nah, I'll take his word for it. <laughs> and now you got to go with him to fulfill the prophecy. Fuck you. <laughs> Good one. Uh, yeah, he's he's not too thrilled about it either. See, I knew this was a bad idea. Sorry to fuck up your quest, dude, but I'm not going. And if you don't go, he'll destroy the base and kill everybody here. Alright, well have fun, guys. Hey, your quest sounds fun! Come on, Tucker! <laughs> I think you should stay here, because I like that killing everybody option. Whoa.
And after we cross the burning plains of Honka Hill, we're going to reach the freezing plains of Blarganthia. The burning plains are next to the freezing plains? I bet there's some pretty wet plains in between. This is so dumb! I'm not doing this! Hey, newsflash. You don't have a choice. You're the one that picked up the sword and locked it to yourself. I know! And I'm so used to picking up things and not letting them get attached. I'm talking about women. I know, yes. I got it. Don't worry, Tucker. We're not gonna send you alone. You're coming with me, Tex? Me? Hell no! This is the first thing you wimps have done that actually sounds dangerous. Well, I'm not going with church! That guy's a worse fighter than I am. Well, you're in luck then, because I'm not going either. What? Then who? No fucking way! I'm not going with him. Oh, 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 I hope we meet a cleric along the way. None of us knows how to heal. He says he's a healer. Oh, good. <laughs> not really. They eat their wounded. <laughs> Just like chiropractors. This is a joke, right? You're sending Caboose? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I saw a chance to get rid of Caboose and I took it. There's nothing wrong with me. Okay, so, um, Tucker is the fighter, uh, Crunchbite is the healer, and I am the powerful and intelligent wizard, Morphumax. What the hell does that make me? You're the good-looking and stealthy archer. A bow and arrow? I don't have any arms, you freaking moron! That is what makes you so stealthy. This is going to be the best party ever. I'm gonna fucking die. Yeah, I guess this is it, Tucker. <laughs> nice knowing ya. Oh, you better hope that I don't die. Cause if I do, you're the one taking care of my kids. You have kids? <laughs> Probably. Firing me. Yeah, take that! Suck it, blue! I mean red! Suck it, blue! Uh, damn, red! Yeah, this is harder than I thought. Hey, Simmons, what the hell are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm attacking the blue base. I mean the red base. Fuck! Defense is established, Sarge! Cancel that, Sarge. Defenses are destroyed. Killing our own team, huh? That's cool. Hey, listen. How long do you expect this whole crazy thing to last? I'm not crazy, Griff. You just wouldn't listen to me when I said there was a tank. I listened to you. You told Sarge that there wasn't a tank. There it is! It's a tank! Oh, you said listen to you, not agree with you. Yeah, I thought that joke was pretty funny, but now Donut's my manager and... Everything kind of sucks now. Well, too bad, because this is what you get now, you dumb blue bitch. Red bitch. Fuck, you know what I mean. Great sodium chloride. There goes my chemistry set. I don't think killing Sarge is much of a punishment for me. Just come back to the base, man. I'll let you boss me around again. I don't know. I think you're just telling me what I want to hear. I am, see? It's just like old times. Come on, buddy. Will you help me clean my armor? How about I promise to help you clean it, but then just convince Donut to do it later. Ah, good old Griff. Simmons, is that you? Yeah, Sarge, but don't worry. We got Simmons, I can understand you're going crazy and seeing imaginary tanks. The tank is right there, for the love of God. And I can obviously understand why you'd want to attack your own base. You can? But painting yourself blue? Dear God, man, don't you have any shame at all? Hey, Sarge, you should also note that he missed a couple of spots. Griff, what in Sam hell are you doing out there? At least Simmons has the intelligence to formulate a mutinous plan. Thank you, sir. I mean, suck it, Blue. God damn it, I mean red. But you're a slothful idiot. Treason takes effort. I never expected this from you. Oh, up yours. What was that? Up yours, sir. That's better. Well, good luck, guys. Don't forget to change your underwear at least once a day. Tucker, that goes double for you. What? I'm the cleanest guy here. No, it goes double for you because now you're in charge of changing caboose as well. I hate you. <laughs> he doesn't wear any pants. Yeah, we noticed. If we meet anybody on this adventure, that might have to change. Why? We're used to being naked. Free balling. Come on. Commando. Let me just put it this way. I felt less threatened when Tex was staring at just a sword. Huh? What? Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I, I was just admiring his... his alien... Muscle structure. Yeah, one particular part of his muscle structure. Well, that's just a matter of penis. I mean, uh, opinion. Opinion. That's... that's what I mean. Smooth. You told me it was another arm. <laughs> hey, Caboose! High five! I don't want to do that anymore. Tucker, come here. I want to talk to you for a second. Listen, just drop off this weapon and get back to Blue Base as fast as you can. What about the kill stuff, dude? I'm a lover, not a fighter. You know, Tucker, I'm the same way. That's why we get along so well. We're both just a couple of lovers. That sounded kind of gay, dude. Yeah, it did. Um, 
I feel obligated to say something encouraging as your boss. Our captain died. You're just the guy pretending to be my boss. I mean, y- you know, in our given situation, technically you could be seen as one of my employees. Except that I'm not. <sighs> Whatever. Listen, I just... As as someone in an employee-manager relationship, which doesn't exist... <sighs> Why did you pull me aside again? You know, I'm sure it was to say something inspiring or something, but now I just don't care. I'm a go, man. Oh. Hey, lady! Come on, hustle up! If you gotta use the bathroom, do it now, because I'm not pulling over. You know, I have to say I'm a little surprised that you're not going with them. Why? Quests are dangerous. Yeah, but they usually have some kind of big reward at the end, you know? Like some big treasure chest or an entire room filled with gold and art. It's not really like you to pass up on something like that, Tex. Tex? You're gone, aren't you? <sighs> I really should have seen that coming. Well, this is a tough one. Simmons appears to have captured Griff, which means we're down a man. And now that man has taken Griff prisoner. So does that make us even? What's one plus a turd? Damn it, only Griff can screw up math. Hurry up, Griff. You know, Simmons, you don't make a very good hostage taker. My last prisoner experience was much cooler. What? You haven't even yelled at me one time. You're doing everything right. I think yelling should be reserved for only the most critical of situations. Like when someone drinks milk out of the carton. Come on, Simmons, I'm a prisoner. You should be jabbing me in the back with your gun and saying, Get moving, scum! Get going! Louder! I said move! Yeah, that's it! Move it, soldier! Okay, seriously? That hurts. Man, these guys really like blue lights. I mean, I know this is blue base and all, but come on. You don't have to beat us over the head with it. Get in the hole. You have a hole? Whoa, now that's cool. I take back everything I said. This is much creepier than my last time in the joint. Move! Dude, if you keep doing that, this is gonna get old quick. I said in the hole! Ow! Who's a bad hostage taker now, bitch? Um, I think I found a design flaw in your hole. What? Get back in there! <laughs> Woohoo! Look who's back! God, this sucks. Seriously, dude. You have to try the hole. It's really fun. Ugh, what are you doing? Get back down in there! Whee! Look, I came out backwards this time! You're supposed to- You're the prisoner! Stay down there! Hey, he's been explaining to me everything we should encounter. The legend's pretty old, but the details are pretty clear. Listen, dude, I don't care what you say. I'm not killing any monsters. Hey, don't interrupt! It's hard enough to translate without well, you- Well, if this little quest depends on me killing stuff, we might as well just stop- The bathroom! Well, uh, hurry up, man. I want to finish your orientation before you have to make me dinner. You do know that Simmons, right? Oh, yeah. Look at this, Sheila. This is a thing of beauty, what I have here. I'm amazed. Whatever. We have got every single vehicle in this canyon. We are unstoppable. This is... I have my own fleet. I have my own fleet of cars. Three vehicles and only one guy to drive them. Big deal. No, the important thing is that they don't have any vehicles to... Hey, is there a problem here? Problem? Why would there be a problem? I, uh, I don't know. You just seem, uh, you know, agitated. You think I'm agitated? Well, I, I, I didn't mean... Well, I, I don't no, mean... it was your word, agitated. You said, you sure seem agitated, Sheila. So I guess that means I'm agitated. Don't I seem agitated, Church? I'm just, I'm just saying you seem a little upset. Oh, so now I'm upset. Which is it, Church? Am I agitated or am I upset? I don't, I mean, I don't really, I could... I could go get a dictionary. Why would I be upset? Uh, I don't... Well, would you be upset if I got a bunch more blue guys to come hang around and help me? Well, actually, there are three other guys in the squad. Exactly. This isn't a parking lot, Church. It's a team. A family. Are we just supposed to forget everything we've been through? Right. Including the time that you killed me. How about if I suddenly decided I wasn't the blue team's tank? What if today I'm feeling just a little bit red? They're just cars, Sheila. I'm going to pretend that I didn't hear that. Hey, is there like a jealousy setting somewhere on you that I can, you know, turn off? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Tucker, use the key and open the gate! Key? What key? I don't have a key. (sighs) Your sword! Use the sword! Oh, God, the sword is a key? Just when I thought this couldn't get any lamer. What is that thing? Roar, 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 roar. The ship! What ship? No one told me about a ship! Hey! Come back here, you stink nugget! Roar, roar. Get her! Hey! What's that thing? Where's he going? I don't know. He just kept saying, There it is! There it is! I thought you said there was no reward at the end of the quest. 
I didn't know. If you're pissed about that, wait until you find out that this sword is really a key. A what? Andy. Hey, don't blame me. I'm just the translator. Um, I think the alien is coming back. That alien! Go away! Uh oh. Get down! What? Oh, he wasn't coming to kill us. He was saving us. That's a good alien. Well, a deal's a deal. He owes me that ship. Andy, tell him to bring that thing down here and... You still want me to tell him? Because I think it's down already. Turks! Wyoming? Connecticut! They're not playing a game, Caboose. Well, if they were... I would have told you what. Well, it appears I've spoiled your little game. So sorry, chum. That was my ship. Oh dear. Then I stand corrected. I'm not sorry. You're gonna pay for that. All out of change at the moment. Get you next time. Tiddy-ho. Get back here. Huh, that didn't go quite the way I expected. You think we should wait for her to come back? Or finish a quest on our own? Or just go home? Charge! Yeah, let's go home. You okay there, blue guy? I'm fine. I, I, I told you it was just allergies. Oh yeah? You know, I never heard someone say boo-hoo-hoo when they sneeze. I'm fine! Good. Well, then now I can give you your orders. Um, first of all, that jeep out there is really dirty, and I think that... Why, why are you giving me orders? Uh, because that's the way the blue team works. Technically, you're the new guy. I should be telling you what to do. Uh, I don't think so, man. See, back in the day, uh, the way this worked was command would call me and give me the orders, and then I would pass them along to everybody else. Okay, it works like this. I would get on the radio like this, and I'd say, uh, uh, come in, Blue Command, come in. This is Blood Gulch Outpost Alpha. Do you read me? And then normally this, uh, really annoying guy would come back, and he would say, Hello, hello. Come in, hello. Well, that was a pretty good impression. Can you do Arnold Schwarzenegger? I'll be back. That wasn't me. Uh, hello? Hello. Come in, Blood Gulch. Can you hear me? Hello. Try the veal. Hello. What? V Vic? Is that you? It's been 800 years! How have you survived so long? Oh, no way, dude. Vic's dead. This is Vic's great, 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 Vic Jr. And you work, and you work with Blue Command? Oh, right, dude. Good one, dude. Blue Command. Wink. Wait a minute, what, what, wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? Does it, is the war over? Did we win? Dude, I got a lot to catch you up on. You wanted to see me, Sarge? Yes, Griff. I think it's time we buried the hatchet started working more closely together. Say what? Isn't that like a sign of the apocalypse or something? As you know, I've never liked you. Not even a little bit. Really? You've always been lazy, insubordinate, and I suspect that underneath that helmet, you're probably extremely ugly to boot. No argument here. Over the years, I've been so disappointed in your work, I've slowly stopped giving you things to do. Most days, I forget you even exist. Yeah... It's been a good run. But I think we all need to realize that Simmons is not coming back. Red Team is just going to have to make deal with the few worthless soldiers we have left. Wait, didn't this start out as a pep talk? We may never know why Simmons left. Yeah, maybe he was overwhelmed by all the positive reinforcement you give out. But the fact of the matter is, we're at war. If we're going to win this thing, we need to work together. We need to put aside our disgusting laziness and our constant attempts to kill each other in our sleep. I've never tried to kill you in your sleep. Damn it, Griff, this is a compromise. I realize I'm going to have to give up some things as well. Halt! Who goes there? Donut, it's me. Oh, right. You. What do you want? I want to talk to Sarge. I just found out some info. Wait, why am I answering your question? I said hold it. What's your problem, Donut? Sarge told me not to let anyone in the base. And I'm pretty sure anyone includes the enemy. I'm not the enemy. Oh, please. You're dressed in blue. FYI, there's kind of a theme around here. You're blue, I'm red. More like pink. I have a gun. Okay, okay. I only dress like this to trick the blues. You helped the blues. And fooled them. You knocked Sarge out. Twice. Once again, Donut, to fool the blues. And to work out some unresolved issues with father figures. But look, just go ask Sarge. He knows it's me. Hell, even Griff knows it's me. Oh, sure. Everyone knows who you are but me. No. The Blues don't know either. Hey, Sheila, where'd that Simmons guy go that was spying on us? I don't know. Why don't you go ask your new chief? What's all this racket? There's an enemy trying to get into the base. Where? Right there. Where? Behind 
Lieutenant Simmons? He means me, sir. Oh, Simmons! Why didn't you tell me it was you? Donut, I did tell you it was me! Well, you didn't say it was you. You just kept saying, I'm me. I am me! But you didn't say you were you. If you had said you were you instead of I'm me, I would have known that you were you. You just kept saying you were me. That's because I'm me. And thus ends another meeting of the Pronoun Club. Same time next week, everybody. Well, now that we have that straightened out, I have some important information. I don't want to hear it, Blue. What? This is valuable information about the war. There's no such thing as valuable information from a traitor. But, sir, I only did that because no one would believe me about the tank. Sarge, Simmons has issues with his father that he displaces on you. No donut. That's why I punched Sarge in the face. I left the base because I wasn't fulfilling my undying need to please other people. All right, enough. The next person who tells me about Simmons' feelings is getting court-martialed. Simmons likes to go in the bathroom and cry while he punches the mirror. Well, I'll go pack my bags. Nice working with you guys. Good luck with the blues. It's been real. Oh, look who's back. The Conquering Heroes. What's up, guys? Eh. Hey, where's Tex? Gone. Where's the alien? Dead. Well, how'd the quest go? Failed. Yeah, you know, I, I probably didn't even need to ask that last question, did I? Yeah, I wouldn't say failed. But these guys definitely screwed it up, Roy. What? We didn't do anything! Exactly! You let Tex do all the work and got the alien killed. Yeah, but doing nothing is what we do. So, technically, we didn't screw anything up. It's true. I have a first place ribbon in doing nothing. It's the same ribbon as last place. It's purple. Was Tex okay? She's fine. None of us are that lucky. She chased after Wyoming. Tex? Yeah. Wyoming? Yes. Massachusetts. Seriously, stop it. Tucker, why didn't you tell me this? Tell you when. We just got here. Yeah, but you've been wasting my time gabbing about your stupid failed quest. Uh, I really wouldn't say failed. This conversation's stupid. I'm hungry. Where's the food? Listen, anytime you have new information for me, just tell it to me as quickly as possible, okay? Well, here's one short, blanket statement that covers all future situations. We suck. I said new information. Don't we have anything to eat in this place? like that since the swamp. Swamp? You guys were in a swamp? Yeah. It was dark and swampy. I wasn't scared at all. Is this why you guys came home so fast? No, we came home because the alien died. And because the uh, glowing sword turned out to be a, a, a glowing key. Yeah, a glowing key that can still stab people. Right. So it is a sword. Just happens to function like a key in very specific situations. Or it's a key all the time, and when you stick it in people, it unlocks their death. God damn, man, I would love to live in your world for about ten minutes. Yeah. I have a really good time. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. You know, I don't think I get anything done, but I probably wouldn't care that much. Uh, hey, Tucker, oh. you okay? Oh, why don't you guys come in here? Uh, because it might be contagious? And because we got to think about the health of the unit as a whole. I came up with that pretty fast. And because you threw up ten minutes ago! And that's just gross! Hey, wait a second. You don't think that sword... You mean the key? No, I mean the sword. You don't suppose that sword is making him sick, do you? I don't see how. It hasn't sneezed once. We don't know anything about it, though. Maybe it runs on radiation and it's poisoning it. Or maybe it runs on solar power. Wait, no, why would solar power make him sick? Is he a Republican? Okay, listen, guys. Do you want important information about the war, or don't you? I don't know, man. This is a pretty exclusive club we got here. If we let one blue guy in, we might have to let the next one in. And the next one. And then there goes the neighborhood. Yeah, pretty soon we'll have to let in women. And who wants them? Yeah, then we'd be talking about interior decorating and reality TV shows all day. No thanks. Griff, it kind of ruins my point when you just mentioned the good stuff. I'm sure the blues are using the information right now to plot an attack against us. <laughs> That better have been in your bucket. I'll get the mop. Well, you can forget it. You heard, Sarge. There's no way we're letting you in the base dress like that. Seriously, the blue and red thing is so last year. Well, how about this? How did you change so fast? I've always been a fast changer. I'm very shy. Is that why you wear your underwear in the shower, too? I also never use the bathroom at the base. Only at home. Dude, we've been stationed here for like three years. Yeah, it's going to be a very eventful homecoming. Andy, what in the hell happened to Tucker in this little adventure you guys took? How should I know? He ate all my food and just threw it up. Could have just thrown it on the floor and cut out the middleman. Yeah, plus now he's moody as hell. 
I went to ask him if he's feeling better, and he practically bit my goddamn head off. I bet he just would have thrown up your head later. And then you could just put it right back on, and it'd be fine. He was fine on the trip. Maybe he's allergic to you. I know I get nauseous when I look at you. Did you guys come in contact with anything weird, like any strange plants or animals, or like super flu viruses, or porn stars? Oh yeah, there's one thing I forgot to mention. We invaded a secret biological warfare lab run by porn stars. Tucker licked all the petri dishes, even though we told him not to. Then he got thirsty, so he drank everything in the test tubes. You think that had anything to do with it? I'm pretty sure that did actually happen. I would have remembered that part. Oh, come on. You're surprised he's sick? I've never seen the guy wash his hands. Not once. One time I saw him pick his nose with a payphone. I'm just worried, man. Who knows if this stuff is contagious? For all we know, Caboose could be next. Wake up tomorrow morning, he's throwing up, running a huge fever. Next thing you know, he's bleeding out of his eyes because his internal organs are liquefying. And I'm going to be the one that has to hold his hand while he screams himself to death. It's not going to be any fun. I'm going to go take a vitamin. Oh, don't bother. It's too late for you anyway. You need to start thinking about me. Tell you what. Send me in, and I'll run cleanup. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of everything. Andy, I am not letting you blow up the base. Come on! Just a little explosion? Five, ten megatons tops. All your scary germs will be gone. Nothing left but the cockroaches. Germ-free cockroaches. But the Tucker will be dead, too. See? It's the perfect plan. No, but that does give me a good idea. Technically, you can't get sick. So why don't we send you in there to take care of Tucker... You can figure out what's wrong and report back to us. I ain't no nurse. I go in there, all you're gonna get is an explosion. You want a medical diagnosis, go see a doctor. What did you just say? I said you don't need me. You need a doctor. Please don't do it. For the love of evil, someone get the phone! Por que no lo levantas usted? You fool! Can't you see I'm busy with an evil plot? What do I pay you for? Para limpiar después de sus diagramas fallados. Oh, shut up, you fool. You don't even have a body. Si, debido de sus diagramas fallados. Why all this bickering? Can't we all just get along? And answer the damn phone! Por que tenemos tantos mil maquinas apocalípticas? Pero no tenemos máquina del contestar la teléfono. I find you far too sarcastic for just a head. Sarge, finally, I need to tell you what the Blues are planning. I thought I told you idiots not to let this traitor scum back in the base. Good to see you too, sir. We didn't let him in the base. He's standing right here. Well, obviously, he penetrated the defensive protocol that me and Private Donut established. Defense protocol? You asked me what the password was. And you knew it. I guessed it. By the way, the password was password. It's so obvious, it's impossible to guess. Diabolical. A password should contain at least one number and one letter. For example, your password would be too dumb to live. Excellent bird. Thank you, sir. Traitor, damn it. Give stupidity aside, I'm not speaking with you until we punish your insubordination and treason. How about I just trade you the information that I learned from the blues? No. We have to have a trial. Right here, right now. What? We don't even have a judge. In affirmative. In my civilian life, I worked as a judge for many years. What level? Municipal? Federal? Livestock. And occasionally agriculture. Now let's find out if Simmons is guilty of treason or best in breed. I don't recognize the authority of this court. No one cares what a convicted criminal thinks. But aren't I innocent until you prove me guilty? Nonsense. Why would we waste time having trials for innocent people? That would be a waste of resources. But I'm not guilty until you hold trial and convict me. So you admit it's a foregone conclusion. No. Wait. I mean, no. Yes, no. That was right, I think. Okay. This is officially more boring than any of the other times I've been to court. Permission to sigh and walk away, sir? Permission denied. If you leave, Simmons won't have anybody to defend him. Whoa, 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 wait a second. I prefer to defend myself. I knew you'd say that. And as the old saying goes, a person who chooses to defend himself has a fool for a lawyer. And that fool is Griff. Who's the prosecution? Well, I am, of course. You're the judge and the prosecutor? That's a conflict of interest. I object to that as speculative. And I also sustain my own objection. Uh, we'd like to enter a plea. What? Look, it's only a matter of time before Donut finds out we're having this trial. I'm listening. Well, if you're the judge and the DA, and I'm the defense, you know Donut's going to want to be the bailiff, and that means he's going to want to wear the cop uniform with the short shorts. Oh, Officer Hot Pants. Exactly. And I think we can all remember that dance routine from Sarge's birthday party. 
Oh my god, that cake is huge! It's big enough to fit a person in it! Why does the cake smell like baby oil? Oh god, where's Donut? Uh, okay, we'll commute seven sentence in favor of time served. With time out for good behavior. No one wants a messy trial. I also think you should pay a hefty fine, which we can split. Agreed. But I didn't do anything. You just keep your mouth shut, and don't talk to the press. Hey, what's going on in there? Nothing! Nothing. <laughs> now be careful. Don't give away our position with maniacal laughing. We don't know what to expect from these fools. This could all be an elaborate trap, and we don't want to be caught off guard. You mean, get caught in a trap before we have a chance to spring our trap? Precisely, you fool. Now shut up. At least we have a lookout. Lopez, what do you see up there? Nada mucho. Como siempre. Esta lugar espira. I haven't been here in some time. Which one is the blue base? It's the blue one. Oh, yes. They're really thinking outside the box with the design. Hmm, it's quiet. Too quiet. Now suddenly it's too loud. I preferred it when it was quiet. All right, hold it right there. Yo vi un hombre. Tiene un arma. Yes, I see that. Thank you for keeping us informed, you moron. Yeah, that was just a warning shot, O'Malley. You make any funny moves, the next one's gonna go right in the middle of your visor. You think you can make that shot from here? Uh, probably not. I was actually trying to hit him that time. I swear to God, I think somebody fucks with the sights on this thing when I'm not looking. I knew it! This was just some elaborate scheme to lure us into an ambush! First of all, I don't know if calling you on the phone and inviting you over, I don't know if that qualifies as an elaborate scheme. And secondly, we're not ambushing you. We just want to lay down some ground rules for your visit. I'm not very big on rules, you know. It's true! We have the system back in the evil lair where we each clean on different days, but I always end up doing it! Oh, shut up! And he always leaves the milk out! You fool, be quiet! And don't even get me started on the phone, Bill! Hey, Doc. I see you're still swimming around in that head somewhere, too. Well, it's not the ideal situation, but any relationship requires work if you- You fool! This isn't a relationship. I'm just using your body to fulfill my evil plans. When we're done, I'm going to throw your rotting carcass into a swamp. And let the beasts feed on your entrails. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Oh, shut up. Well, don't get any bright ideas about jumping into anyone else today, O'Malley. We've all got our radios off, and we've all got our minds cleared. We're not thinking about anything. For some of us, that was easier than others. I just finished thinking about something, and didn't start thinking about anything else. So here's how this is going to work. You're going to come in, you're going to take a look at Tucker, you're going to tell us what's wrong, and then you're going to leave. Hmm, and what do we get? What do you want? And I should warn you, Tex is not here. So if you have any cute ideas for her, don't bother. Well, a standard physical usually requires a $20 copay. Hey, ask them what kind of health insurance plan they have. You fool, let me negotiate. We want something from you, but we're not going to tell you what it is until we need it. <laughs> no way. I'm not agreeing to something without knowing what it is. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. You will, or your little friend Tucker will die. Die a most horrible death. And you know his blood will be on your hands years from now. You'll drive yourself mad wondering if there was anything you could have done to save him. So you will agree to what I want. You will agree even though what I want is something mysterious. What I want is something frightening. What I want is something pure evil! <laughs> I've also been told that a $20 copay is pretty much standard. All right, fine. Ha! Ha <laughs> you fool! And we want the $20 up front! Fine! And in cash! Uh, whatever! Ah, you moron! If you'd used a credit card, you could have gotten airline miles! Or at least a 30-day grace period with no interest. You basically irresponsible fools. Caboose, give me twenty dollars. Wait, give me thirty dollars. Come on, double time, man. That goes double for you, Griff. Why are we always double timing anyway? Can't we ever half time? Or how about no time? No, no nuts. According to Simmons, the Blues have already re-established contact with their command. What? That's why we're running? Of course. By now, they could be receiving reinforcements. We're taking advantage of some new technological weapons development. Or maybe their command has been giving them the same generic orders ours always gives us, like, try to win and do better than you're currently doing. I swear, sometimes I think they don't even know our names. That's just what I wanted you to hear. 
The conversations I had with command always provided vital intelligence. Like what? Like the location of the blue base. Right there. And the number of soldiers they have. Three. Also, the location of the base. Uh, you already said that one. I meant our base. Weren't we the ones that provided them the intel in the first place? Initially, yes. But command processes our raw data and gives us back the key details. You may recall they sent us plans for the next phase of the war. They were stored in Lopez before he was kidnapped. You mean before he ran away? No, I mean shut up, Griff! But how do we even know he still has the plans? Last time we saw him, all that was left was the head. Maybe he stored the files in his legs or his chest. You idiot! Who stores memories in their chest? Don't you know anything about biology? The chest is strictly reserved for digestion. Maybe they'll send us more reinforcements like last time. Donut's arrival was a real turning point in the offensive. Where is Donut? Oh, there he is. Looks like he's talking to something. Looks like a rock. Griff! What? I need information on that rock ASAP! Approach the target via a flanking maneuver and establish deflate at that ledge. Point Alpha! Or I could just look through the scope of the sniper rifle since that's worked the last 800 times. Yeah, all right, fine. Take all the fun out of it. I like my way better. It was more dangerous for you. Sarge, I have great news. Looks like you're going to get your plans after all. And I'm not going to have to do any more running. So everybody wins. What about me? I didn't win anything. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure there'll be somebody's ass you can kiss. Andy, this is Doc. Doc, this is Andy. Uh, Andy, Doc is, uh, he's here to help Tucker. And he's also our worst enemy. You know, besides the Reds. And Tex on certain days. Well, thank you for introducing me to your bowling ball. Hello, bowling ball. Actually, I'm a bomb. It can talk? Why is that the first thing everybody says to me? A talking bomb, you say? Hmm, I could use a fellow like you in my organization. <laughs> yeah, I should probably point out that Andy here was specifically designed to blow up and kill you. I see. Well, this is certainly awkward. Come on! Satan's Funyun! <laughs> I was just kidding. I didn't really explode. <laughs> Good one. Yes, highly amusing. Lopez? Donut, where did you find him? Right here. How are you two talking? Lopez, do you speak English now? No. Well, if he doesn't, then why did he just say no in English? Busted. I took four years of high school Spanish. That's the best way to learn any language. What have you two been talking about? Oh, the usual Spanish fare. I told him my name. I asked him what his name was. I asked if he knew where the bathroom was. How much a ticket for the train cost. And I asked him for the check. Haga por favor que el hombre orzado para el hablando con mi. Ask him where he's been. No, ask him where he's going. Wait, ask him if he has our secret plans. And if he missed me. Lopez, que es el tiempo. Voy a ir a la playa con mi primo que juge a tenis. Yo comio un lapis. Adios. Hmm, looks like he's not talking, Sarge. All right, he wants to play tough, huh? I built in override codes for just such an event. Lopez, give me root access. Priority Delta 1. Prioridad un permito. Por favor, diga el access code. The access code is... Access code. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I'll bitch about it later. Access o concedido. Lopez, replay the intel message from command. Okay. See? Okay? I'm telling you, this guy's faking. Hola, hola. Ese tu escúchame. Hola. Hola, hombres de God Sangrosa. Gracias por la información. Muy provechosas. Oh, come on. The recording is in Spanish? That doesn't even make any sense. This guy sounds just like the guy the Blues were talking to, Vic Jr. I'll bet his kids change sides. Ex Benedict Arnold, those dirty traitors. No offense, Simmons. None taken, sir. You traitor. God damn it. Wait. How does Vic have kids? I thought he had a vasectomy. Well, that's just what I heard. We've got to figure out what he's saying. Donut, can you translate or catch him? Uh, I think he's saying something about losing his passport. Well, when I was in Blue Base, Church mentioned they built a translation device out of an old bomb. He can't, no doubt, to decipher their plans to destroy us. If we don't translate the tactical plans Lopez is saying, we're all doomed. También, hacer mejor que usted ha estado haciendo y ganar, por favor. Okay, hombre, au revoir. That information could save our very lives. Why don't we sneak into the blue base, grab the translation device, and use it on our message? I agree. Let me get this straight. We're going to steal a bomb from our enemies. A bomb that can be remotely detonated, I might add. And then we're going to bring it back to our base and all huddle around it. What a great plan. 
Well, sure, it sounds stupid when you say it like that. Come on, let's move! Somebody grab Lopez's cabeza! Of course! That's not the cabeza, Donut! And that's not Lopez! Oh, God. I think it's coming back up. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna give Tucker his physical now. Would either of you like to assist? That's just a fancy way of saying her with the vomit bucket. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm busy. Caboose? I can't. Well, why not? Oh, because uh, I am allergic to things that I don't want to do. <coughs> Coughing. Okay, just more fun for me. Well, you won't believe this. It looks like the Blues have teamed up with O'Malley. Those dirty backstabbers. Our enemies teamed up with our enemy. How is that a backstab? Exactly. No good two-timers. All right, men. Let's get in there and acquire that exploding translator thing so we can figure out what Lopez is saying. No mas va esta decepcionado. I agree, Lopez. Time is of the essence. Por qué estás contestando si usted no sabe qué estoy diciendo? <laughs> Good one, amigo. Dios mío. Por favor, alguien mátame. I see the bomb. He's right next to Caboose. Which one is Caboose again? I get confused. Is he the stupid mean one? The stupid annoying one? Or the stupid, stupid one. Stupid, stupid. Oh, yeah, right. What an idiot. Yeah, totally. Sarge, I hate to point out the obvious, but since we can see them with a sniper rifle, why don't we just shoot them? Shame on you, Donut! A sniper rifle is a coward's weapon. When you kill your enemy, you want to look in his eyes so he knows you're the one who beat him to death! It also gives you a chance to deliver some really zippy one-liners, like... I hope you brought your wallet, because the rent in hell gets paid in advance! Oh my god. Or my personal favorite, you just got sarged. <laughs> Classic. Lo significo, deseo morir. Yep, hand to hand combat is the old school way to kill your foes. It harkens back to the honored traditions when combatants respected one another. Killing a man with your bare hands says, we're all equals as men. Except I'm slightly more equal because I'm still alive and you're dead. Of course, dropping a nuke on them from 50,000 feet is also totally acceptable. I mean, let's face it, there's just not enough time in this busy world to show everybody the courtesy of a good strangling. See? That right there is why society's going downhill. Everyone's in such a hurry these days. Yeah, 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 we get the point. Wasting time. Okay, what was the plan, Sarge? You fellas stay here. I'm gonna head up there with Lopez and get that device. Get it, Lopez? Head up there. Score two for Sarge. Ding, ding. Dios mio. Hey, guys. I've figured out what's wrong. What is it, Doc? You're not going to like the diagnosis. <laughs> Which is ironic, because I think it's absolutely delightful. <laughs> Just tell us, Doc. We can take it. Your friend is... Dying? Oh, no. No, he's not dying. He just says... No chance to live. I knew it. Caboose, one more interruption out of you, and he's going to have two patients. <sighs> How do I say this? Your friend is... Why are you pausing? Caboose is not going to interrupt you this time. No, that was just for dramatic effect. He's pregnant. Oh, good. Wait, what? <laughs> Preggers. <laughs> All right, are we paying for this service? Because if we are, I want a refund. And if we're not, I want a refund anyway. No, it's true. We found two heartbeats. So unless he has two hearts, the only logical explanation is that he's pregnant. I think. How is that a logical explanation? All right, one of the two of you has some explaining to do. <laughs> Don't look at me! Tucker's not my type! Tsha, me neither. And, uh, maybe we should, uh, have the doctor explain, uh, just how babies are made, you know, uh, in case someone in the group, uh, may not exactly know how that happens. Oh my god, Caboose, shut up. Andy, blow up. Doc, you're fired. Get out of here. I'm gonna go shoot Tucker. No! You said we had to tell you what was wrong. You didn't say we had to be right, or that we had to fix him. You fool! <laughs> Read the fine print. Classic blunder. <laughs> First of all, I am right, and we are going to help him. What? what? Look, no one's ever seen anything like this before. I don't know anything about what caused this, or how to help him, but with heart and true determination, we can get him through this. Yeah, we don't want heart and determination, Doc. What we want is a degree from an accredited medical institution. Yeah, a four years equivalent work experience. <sighs> Come see for yourself. Fine. Uh, I think I need to stay here and guard this rock from Tucker. Because I'm pretty sure that's how all this started. All right, what's wrong? You seem nervous. Wait, Tucker, it's contagious. I do not.
not going to catch pregnancy. Hey, no one is pregnant. And seriously, Caboose, when I get done with this, we gotta have a little talk, man. There's a book I've got that we can read together. I'd like that. Maybe you can have the bowling ball fill you in on some of the basics. <laughs> Let me get you started. There's three holes. <laughs> oh, gross. I mentioned the bowling ball. Hey, hey, Caboose. Level with me, pal. I don't really look like a bowling ball, do I? No, Andy. <laughs> You're not nearly that fat. Because I've been working out, you know. Dumbbells, push-ups, crunches. What? Andy? Andy? What happened to you? Rapido. Antes de que se vuelvan, cabe una gallero. Entierme, por favor. Andy, you turned into a real boy. See, boys, now that's how you run a successful op. In and out like well-lubricated lightning. Where's Lopez? <laughs> I pulled the old switcheroo. Lopez was the same size and shape as this feller, so I just swapped him out. Just like Indiana Jones would have done. <laughs> They'll never even know he was missing. Thank God he's a little lighter than the last time we saw him. Finally, somebody noticed. Do you know how hard it is to maintain this figure? You swapped Lopez for the bomb. Permission to speak insultingly, sir? Permission denied. You're just jealous because you didn't think of it first. <laughs> now let's translate. Where's Lopez? Oh, hell. I'll be right back. Now you see, Andy, now we can go fishing, and you don't have to be the bait anymore, and we can hiking, and we can go camping, and you don't have to be the fire anymore, and we can ride together, and now we can hold hands, and we can fly kites, and we can play tag, and we can drink horse juice together. Hey, Caboose, you hear something behind you. I do? I wonder what's causing it. Double yoink. Andy? Oh, my God! Andy! You're dead! How did this happen? You were so young! It's all my fault! I should have seen the warning sign! I didn't even know you were smoking! It works so fast! You had so much to live for. So much exploding to do. Oh, God! Who will blow stuff up now? I don't want to live in a world without exploding. You hear that, God? Are you proud of yourself? Now that you've created a world with no large explosions, why couldn't you just take Tucker instead? You can't explode. At least I don't think you can. But even if it could, it wouldn't be the same. And he's exploding with special. My God! Why? Who is he? Uh, I don't believe this. It's true! Your friend Tucker is pregnant! See? My little gizmo lights up green to indicate pregnancy. I thought it lights up green to indicate flesh wounds. Yeah, also that. And infectious diseases. Yeah, it lights up green for just about everything. It takes a while to figure out the difference. Like this green indicates a high level of anger stemming from suppressed feelings of inadequacy. If that thing keeps talking bad about me, I'm gonna fucking smash it. And this green means impotency. Oops, actually that green causes impotency. My bad, Church. Oh, that's okay. I wasn't using it anyway. See? These tools can be confusing sometimes. That's why doctors have to go to school for so long. Not that I'm actually a doctor, mind you. And that's never been more apparent than with this diagnosis. Oh, what diagnosis? Congratulations, Tucker. You're pregnant. <laughs> With bastard. <laughs> it's not mine. I wasn't even in town that weekend. Tucker, don't listen to him. He's a lunatic, man. He's got no idea what he's talking about. Uh, you want me to go over the green light thing again? Doctor, help. My second best friend is dead. Fix him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Caboose, what happened? Who's dead? Andy. Andy is dead. Look. Okay, that's disgusting. Doctor Doc, please help him. 
Uh, I don't know what I can really do to help him. My first aid procedures aren't very effective after decomposition. Where did you get that? First Tucker dies and now Andy... Tucker isn't dead, he's pregnant. It's not mine, we weren't even going steady. Stop that. Hey, look, man, I've been saying that for a long time. It's going to take a little while to get used to this. You're not pregnant. I was just standing outside the base, and someone told me to turn around, and when I did, did... Well, wait, who told you to turn around? I don't know, but they were very helpful. And let me guess, when you turned back around, Andy was gone. Yes, he was gone. <sighs> Everybody stay here. I'll be right back. Wait! What do you want me to do about the pregnant guy? It's not mine. He is not pregnant. And what about Andy? And that's not Andy! Just look, stay here! Ah, uh, would this be a bad time to mention that my stomach just started hurting really bad? Oh boy. Caboose? Better go boil some water. How can you think of soup at a time like this? Here are your orders for winning the war. Eliminate the enemy. Okay, also, try to do better than you are currently doing. And please win. Thank you. That's totally, totally lame. And not at all surprising. Which is also totally, totally lame. I don't know about that, Griff. I think there was actually some valuable tactical information in there. Right, Sarge? Simmons, have you lost your last marble? That was pure nonsense! Oh, that's what I meant. Eliminate the enemy? What kind of plan is that? I think Commander's lost it. Lost it? When did they have it? Uh, speaking of the enemy, here comes one now. Hey, let's eliminate him. Then we'll have one less thing in the to-do list. <sighs> I'm just so depressed. I can't even threaten your life for being a total jackass. Jackass? I'll kill you. Nah, I don't think eliminating him is going to be easy. It looks like he's bringing his tank with him. What are you talking about, Donut? The tank isn't coming out here. Look, it's not even moving. Yes, it is. Look! Hey, Sarge, cheer up. I've known Command was stupid all along. It can be hard at first, but you'll get used to it. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Donut, I am looking. If it was getting closer, it would be getting bigger. It is getting bigger. Compared to that tree! What tree? There aren't any trees out here. You want to call me an idiot, Sarge? That always makes you feel better. Oh, shut up, moron. Ah, huh? feels better, right? Yeah, I guess a little. Nope. Not moving. Yes, it is! See? Look closer! Okay, you're right. It's coming this way. Run! Firing main cannon. Firing main cannon. Run! Regroup, man! Griff, start passing out additional ammo! Uh... Simmons, pass out the ammo you brought because you knew Griff would forget! Already on it, sir. Return fire, men! I'll call for reinforcements! Command! Come in! Hey, dude, come in! Hey, what's going on? That sounds like fun. Vic, we need help! Simmons, get busy negotiating a surrender. Okay, how about we give him our base? Oh, good idea! We could live in the caves! We could let them kill Griff! Simmons, you're supposed to negotiate their surrender, not ours! Vic, are you still there? Hey, Blues! Oh, I mean Blue! We're only gonna give you one chance to surrender! What? Why would I... Hey, hold on a second, Sheila. Why would I surrender? Uh, because you're outnumbered! Bullshit, dude! I got a tank! People with tanks are never outnumbered! We also think that it's your turn to surrender! What?! Well, if you'll recall, first you surrendered, and you guys gave us Doc. And then we surrendered, and we gave you the Jeep. Now, that means that- Sheila, shut him up. Son of a bitch! Is that a no?! Okay, look guys, I don't mean to be rude, but I got a missing girlfriend, a guy who's pregnant, an idiot who thinks his pet just died, and our worst enemy is hanging out unsupervised at our base right now. So I really, really, really don't have time for this horse shit right now. Uh, what was that part about the pregnant guy? He's not pregnant! That's impossible! <laughs> yeah, unless the alien impregnated him. Because <laughs> that's what they do. They infect the host with a parasitic embryo. <laughs> But you already knew that, right? Right? What? No! Why didn't you tell us that could happen? Uh, I mean, uh, alien, baby. How could that have happened? I am shocked as you are. Come in, church, come in. Caboose, what did I tell you, man? You're not supposed to use the radio while O'Malley's here. Oh, great. Now I'm on the radio, too. Oh, that, that's why I'm calling to tell you. Uh, the Reds already use their radio, and O'Malley is gone. Oh my god! That's right, Blue! We've called in the cavalry! As we speak, the glorious Red Command is sending a ship to aid us! 
No doubt it's a battle cruiser of the highest magnitude. It's time to end this thing once and for all. Oh, he, 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 who? Ah! Congratulations. It's a thing. <laughs> what was that? Oh, uh, that's the other thing I called about. Uh, Tucker had his gross baby. It's not mine. He is not pregnant. Sheila, stay here. If anybody moves, shoot him. A baby? Wait up! I want to see... Donut, get back here! Wait for the ship! But Sarge, we don't know when the ship is going to get here. It's coming all the way from Earth. That could take days, or weeks, or months, or even years! Ship's here. Shotgun! <laughs>